what the sermon's going to be about. Hey, but I just want to tell you, I just want to tell you that two of the best things that draw you closer to God, two of the best things that draw you closer to God are giving thanks and experiencing wonder. Giving thanks to God and experiencing the wonder of all that God has made and what God is doing. Thanks and wonder. They lift your heart. And since you alone could not have created all these blessings that you're thankful for and, and all the things that you wonder at, since you could not have created them, they remind you to not only be thankful to the one who did create them, these things also remind you of your blessed, loving God, your Heavenly Father, our Mother, who is constantly loving you and taking care of you every day. In our scripture reading for today, Jesus gives his disciples and Jesus gives to you and me the treasure of the Lord's Prayer. Even though you have probably grown all too familiar with the Lord's Prayer, it is probably the most profound prayer ever. And yet, and yet it is surprisingly simple. Just, just, just focusing on the phrases of this prayer alone would be a worthy spiritual exercise for the rest of your life. Let me say that again. Just focusing on the phrases of this prayer alone would be a worthy spiritual exercise for the rest of your life. The spirit that glows through the Lord's Prayer can shape your life into a peaceful, loving, and forgiving jewel. Your life as a jewel. One thing you may not realize is that the Lord's Prayer is given to us in exactly the center of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. It is at the center of Jesus' teaching. And today, since we could not possibly do justice to the studying the whole Lord's Prayer in one sermon, I'd like to just look at one single phrase where you ask your loving Mother or Father in Heaven to give you this day your daily bread. Now several wonderful ideas flow from this phrase, and some of them come from Martin Luther's teaching in the small catechism. When you hear the words, give us this day our daily bread, you naturally think of God giving you bread, or what you need to eat each day. And yet, as Martin Luther points out, in this phrase you're also reminded that God actually gives you everything that you need to live in this life. And that includes God gives you your parents to take care of you when you're young. God gives you, God gives you the government and police. And God gives you robes. God gives you bread and fish and shrimp and peanut butter and jelly. God gives you tasty apples, and oranges, and bananas, and pineapples. God gives you clean air to breathe, and water to drink. God gives you shoes, and the industry that makes and delivers those shoes. God gives you your clothes, and the chemical processes that make up most of your clothes. God gives you sheep, and wool, and cotton, and machines, and God gives people the education and knowledge to make those machines. God gives you language, English, mathematics, and science, and engineering. God gives you carpenters, and roofers, and electricians, and plumbers to build you a nice, safe, warm, dry place to live and study and sleep in. God gives you doctors and antibiotics. 
and new knees and new hips and physical therapists. God gives you, God gives you feelings of wonder, of hope, and love. Love, love, love. Love of babies and children. Love of your friends and your spouse. Love of your mentors and elders who give you someone to look up to and learn from and lean on. Love, love, love. Love of beauty. And God gives you the feeling of joy. When you wake up after a good night's sleep, or you step out into a winter wonderland of glittering snow. Or you read a good book, or watch a good movie, or some passage from scripture or a poem that just reaches out and grabs you. Wonder, love, <coughs> friends, your spouse, good food, great food, Maybe some beer or excellent wine to go with it. Laughing, children, singing together in harmony. Good music. Ah, do you realize how many excellent songs there are out there? I was checking my iTunes, just, there's hundreds of songs just in that little thing. Fantastic. And God has made all these things and a thousand, a million more that surround you and nurture you throughout your life, feeding you like a little baby, warming your skin with the sun, lighting the world around you. All of this is encompassed in that little phrase, give us this day our daily bread. What are the, some of the things that what are some of the things that you especially enjoy having or things that nurture your life? Some people are painters, photographers. What's some of the things that that you in your life? You don't have to tell me, but just like think of it. What are some of the special things that you do? Plane trips? I don't know. Could be Jesus. Jesus is one of them. Our yoga. Our friends. All your work. Your computer. The internet. Trees. Beaches. Fishing. Swimming. The sun. Stars. Things that you especially need could be a great stereo. All these things, your loving Heavenly Mother, our Father, gives to you every day, holding you, blessing you, loving you, every day. O oh Lord, give us this day our daily bread and spread a generous helping of wonder over time. In the name of Jesus. <laughs>